Hello, I'm Maurice, and today I'm going to be talking about an update to the electric eel wheel mini. So this is actually the very first prototype I've printed of it on my 3D printer, and the previous version was mostly a wood design, and basically because it was a lot more successful than I had expected, I figured out that it probably makes sense to do uh, an injection molded design, and that'll make things a lot more durable by being plastic. It also reduces the assembly time, and I do all my assembly in Massachusetts, the United States. So, uh, you know, if I can reduce the assembly time, that'll cut down on the cost quite a bit as well. So this is the basic design, and now I'll sort of walk through a bunch of the changes. Um, one of the easy first ones to see is that I've added two magnets right here and that'll hold an orifice hook. So that's from the electric e 5, the bigger brother of this guy. And um, basically when I go to the plastic, it was easy to inset the magnets. So it doesn't actually add very much cost to add that kind of a feature. Um, also sort of a nice feature is that they've got these little platforms. And what that allows is it's got holes in them. So you can either mount it to a board like this and uh, this is just something I made um, to sort of demonstrate it so it's just a chunk of a two by four and then you'd use wing nuts to sort of hold it in place and it's just sort of that easy to put it on but I'm also considering making these eye hole shaped and then you'd sort of set it and shift it over um, there's pros and cons to each direction I'm still figuring out how I want to do that exactly um, but also because of these flat platforms being flush with the surface it makes clamping it you know into place on a table really easy i can i don't think i have let's see if we can move the camera a little bit so there we've got an edge and if you want to clamp it down on the edge of the table you just go like that and you know it's 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 in place and you know it's not going to move when it's rotating at higher speeds it doesn't vibrate as long as you have it held in place with a clamp or with a heavier board on the bottom like i was showing using the screws so that's a much better mounting system that i had on the previous version also there's these little slots that i put in here that's to hold your fiber so after you've been spinning you can just sort of hook it on one of those um, little slots and that'll be a convenient place to store the fiber uh, another design that's a lot of it was done for aesthetics it's kind of a, a more open design but it also allows you to see how much yarn is on your bobbin and when you need to move these uh, slider hooks I'm planning to keep the same slider hook system it, it works quite well uh, another big improvement that I'm planning to make is that uh, it has this bearing it has these bearings on the flyer so um, this is a bearing and on the other side there's a bearing and this will just come off and you can slide the bobbin off like that slide the bobbin on put this in place and then to put it back on it just sort of slots and clicks in place so that means that you're gonna have bearings on the flyer I couldn't put bearings on the bobbin because it was just too expensive to put bearings in each bobbin. And I think that just having it rotate, it, it'll be a much smoother rotation than the previous mini on the bobbin. But because there's bearings on the flyer, that's gonna be much smoother and going to greatly reduce the sound that um, was caused by the spinning flyer that, that was on the mini. Uh, Let's see what other improvements. I'm, I'm still working on how to uh, do the drive band. If people have great ideas for that, let me know. But uh, right now I've kind of got a, a slight improvement over the mini there by sort of creating this larger hole in a slot system. So I think I can make it easier or more consistent than the mini because we're using plastic instead of wood and that's pretty much it um, at this stage it, it's still very early in the prototype design uh, so I I haven't 
gotten the circuit boards back yet for this, um, but they're gonna have a switch. So you'll have a forward, backwards, and an off. That's a, a, an improvement that a lot of people were asking for. And you know, beyond that, uh, it's early in the development. So if you have ideas on things you'd like to see in the Mini, let me know. Uh, the big limitation with the Mini is, as far as design goes, is that it's really designed to be an inexpensive spinning wheel. So if you have ideas that add a lot to the cost, it's probably not something I could do on the Mini, but I could do it on the electric EO Wheel 5. So any ideas you have, um, I'm interested in hearing uh, improvements you'd like to see to this prototype, let me know. And uh, as I progress, I'll, I'll keep the community informed. Thanks for watching.